a sec. Yeah, <laughs> I love Glenys as you said tell her and this is one of the best paintings of hers that I've seen that means a lot to me. Uh, I live next door but one to Glenys and we spend a lot of time in front of her bay window looking out at the sky um, and uh, our scenery around Mumbles generally and it reminds me of those special moments. I bought the painting because I love Glenys's work. It's interesting to look at but also have your own ideas of what she's thinking of obviously titles give you an idea um, but also you can think differently when you look at it and hopefully this picture will give me many happy years of observing it and thinking different things when I can look at it in a different way. Uh, my wife and I saw this painting by Glenys Core today the 3rd of February 2024 and what we saw were colours that spoke to us 
um, it's different to any other picture that's in the room and we saw that it's very feminine it's a picture to us it's a picture of um, just the yonic it's absolutely beautiful I'm Janice Spry I'm, I'm a painter um, I've been a painter all my life and I was lucky enough to be taught by Glenis Poor here I'm very proud of the fact she really put me on my track so Glenis, as we all know, is a great colourist, and so am I. So I learned so much from her about colour, the power of colour, the emotional power of colour. Um, she's very, such a master, such a master of this. And, you know, my work would not be anything like what it is without Glenis behind me. So. She's going to come see my studio soon. Um, I'm very impressed with the fact that she's still working. I couldn't believe it when I heard about this exhibition, because I follow her closely, um, albeit from a distance, because I live out in the sticks. But um, I thought this would be a retrospective. And I know she works every day, um, but I couldn't expect to see this. It's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and it just fires me up to see this this use of color you know her em the emotional power of color is what it's all about the energies that color color carries and the interaction of color this is what she taught me <laughs> i used to live with my husband who was teaching in liverpool university and I met uh, my next door neighbor, Muriel Clement, who was, uh, came up here with her husband when he got a job here. And she used to invite me to stay with her because when my husband died, I was uh, working in London and she was sorry for me having to live in London. And used to invite me down for winter weekends, which I was very, very grateful for. And that's how I met Glenys through Muriel Clement. And Glenys became a great friend, so that when I retired, ultimately, I came to live here. I retired, I'm 93 now, and I came to live here. I bought a house in London, and I had frequent dinners and dinners with each other, with Muriel and Glenys. And when here, I became a great friend of Glenys, and we went on holiday together to Turkey and Morocco and various other places. As an artist, I think she's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I have one, two, three, four. I have four or five of her pictures in my house, uh, on the walls of my house. Uh, I think she go she's going from strength to strength. A lot of people decline as in old age and the work gets weaker and more prosaic. Not Glenys. She's there at the top all the time. No, she's a brilliant, brilliant woman. And a great, a great asset to Welsh art, I think. This is a lovely exhibition. It's a, a, a development from her usual abstract work. And she's beginning to use poetry and prose and produce sort of Welsh paintings, a, a representation of, of, of the Welsh vision, you know? I think she, she's a, an excellent artist and we will be remembered. Uh, she's also a very, very nice person, really a, a pleasure to know. and a most interesting person to know as well. Uh, never at a loss, always something alive and a good conversation. We were both receiving honorary degrees from the Section of Sports University when she lectured. And we became firm friends. And I've, whenever we come down, we visit her with her family and her grandkids and all that. She's a wonderful person, wonderful friend, and we have a couple of her paintings at home in Marylebone in London, in the flat. So uh, 
She's always close to us, really, and um, it's unbelievable that she's 100 and still, still carrying on. It's amazing. Actually coming in here and seeing all these people, lots and lots of them I know very well, which is a lovely feeling, it's a warm feeling. You're either given the potential to be an artist or not, and if you do, you might not develop it, but you might develop it. I guess it's really about it. I think in most people, perhaps not, I wouldn't say all, but most people, there is the potential. And I suppose satisfied by um, by appreciation of other people's work, you know what I mean?